My brothers and sisters, before we begin, as usual, we need to remember our brothers and sisters currently who are undergoing extreme danger and under immense threat, our dear brothers and sisters and their children and their families in Gaza. And at the moment, they are in a very, very tight area called Rafah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, the example of the believers to one another is like one body. If one part of it is in pain, the rest of it cannot sleep because of fever and pain. And our hearts are with them and our worries are with them. And the worry and the pain is an obligation that if it doesn't show in a Muslim when they think about their brothers and sisters, then their Iman is, is devoid. How can a heart not feel and be with them? Although we cannot do more had we had the chance to do it, wallahi, nobody will even delay a single second. But our hearts are with them and our worries and our dua and our thoughts. And we continue to make awarenesses. Do not forget them. For Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never used to forget his brothers and sisters wherever they are. He once stayed two months on the mimbar every single salat. He would, every single day he would get up. He would make dua for the destitute and the oppressed and the weak of the Muslims who were in Mecca. And in general, we'll make dua for all the weak ones. But at the moment, our brothers and sisters in Gaza are the most crucial at the moment. They've been taken from place to place in Gaza to the north and then to the middle and then to the south and then to the everywhere. And they've been bombing them and bombing them everywhere they go. And now all 1.9 million of them are gathered like sheep to slaughter in one little place in the south. We've already seen children, limbs and bodies hanging from buildings. What was their crime? And Allah says in the Quran, وَإِذَا الْمَوْؤُودَةُ سُئِلَتْ بِأَيِّذًا بِنْ قُتِلَتْ when the baby child shall be asked on the day of judgment for what crime was she killed. Allahumma anjil mustadha'afeen will make the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for them. Ya Rabb, O Lord of the weak ones, O Lord of the oppressed, O Lord, O Lord of the children, O Lord of the elderly, and O Lord of the women, O Lord of our brothers and sisters, O Lord of the world, O Lord of all these creatures the most powerful, the most merciful. Save our brothers and sisters in Rafah, in Gaza, in Palestine. O oh Allah, lift the pain and agony and oppression from them and bring relief to them soon. O oh Allah, give victory to those who are protecting them and standing firm for their shelter and their support. May Allah have mercy upon their martyrs and those who have passed away and unite them with the martyrs. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their children awaiting for them in Jannah, in the do at the doors of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them intercessors for them, faratan wa dhukhran at the fountain of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon their dead ones, those who were slain and killed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them strength, perseverance and iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our shortcomings and return the Muslims to his deen, a strong return. May Allah save Al-Aqsa and save it and purify it from all impurities of the enemy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy those who want destruction to them and those who are harming them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy all their plots and their plans. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah open a way for those who have a pathway to save them, to protect them. Many people are willing to risk their lives to save them, to save it. The deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, number one, and number two, for their brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring justice. We do not lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for there was a time when Jerusalem and Palestine was in the, or was in the command and authority and conquered by the Crusades for nearly 100 years after it was under the Islamic rule for nearly 600 years and Umar ibn Khattab, the ones who came after him. And then Salah al-Din Layyubi, Allah sent him with a group of believers who were ferocious, but just and merciful, not like them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returned it. Can you imagine 100 years 
No adhan in all of Palestine and Jerusalem. No salat was ever done. Not a Muslim in sight. No worship of Allah in the third holiest mosque. 100 years approximately. And the victory came at the right time. And Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi treated them with justice and mercy unlike what they did. The Crusaders even slaughtered the Jews that were in there alongside the Muslims and desecrated the Aqsa Mosque. And when Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi entered, he gave them compassion and mercy and allowed them to stay or allowed them to leave and welcomed the Jews back into Jerusalem, into Palestine, until the Ottoman Empire and the British mandate came in and all injustice wreaked havoc 